Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel as we are continuing our journey through Spiritfall and at this point there are less than two weeks left from April and according to the roadmap that means that pretty soon we should see a new content update bringing us some synergies or something like that between these spirits and I'm really looking forward to that but for now let's start our run by throwing in some upgrades first of all I want to get this seismic ripple which will kill enemy if we splat them against the wall if they have less than 10% health so we'll buy this one and I was also thinking about brain freeze if enemies are kept stunned for more than one second they receive 20% more damage from attacks and launchers until their stun expires so that sounds pretty good to me I would also like to get this one however it is quite expensive the prismatic bond you deal 5% more damage for each spirit whose blessings you possess so i feel like this is really good but we will need to gather some points so let's get it started i also have new upgrades hallowed burrow hallowed ground in the burrows okay and notion of boundless horizon spirit blessings are five percent more likely to be of higher rarity per clear region i see so we need five strolls for this. I shall start gathering. Now let's see, what do we want to upgrade today? I'm thinking about doing a bow run today. Well, let's get going here. start with the bear freezing dash could be good gain bonus damage for three seconds after you are hit or after breaking an enemy shield no i think freezing dash could be really good i mean if we're slowing down enemies by just dashing that is that sounds really good to me we'll get an upgrade to that as well I feel like that is a good idea to begin with. Let's get this upgrade here where we're just gonna do slightly more damage. Nothing too impressive, but what can you do? We're gonna go for a relic. slightly better at this game and let's see enemies you slay in under five seconds reward you 20 percent extra dust and essence okay not the most impressive thing in the world but with a few upgrades to our damage i feel like it's going to to be good enough hmm. let's just do that Freezing tactics does function. Okay, we'll get another one of these scrolls. A freezing attack, 60% more damage. Cold present, you're dealing increased damage per nearby enemy inflicted with frost. That could also be good. 
Glaciating Frost. Frost now stacks up to 5 times, but only slows the enemy once. However, it may glaciate non-boss enemies when applied. So, no, we're gonna go with a freezing attack. It's a lot of damage. You wouldn't wanna miss on that. And I'm gonna take some fire damage here. can see the difference in damage. Quite significant. And there we have. Let's see. Ethereal Bounty. You gain additional dust from all sources. 15% is pretty good. While enemies are inflicted with status effects like freezing, they also receive more damage. 6% more damage per status effect. Scorching Launcher, your launcher deals more damage and inflicts two stack of burn on the enemies. You know what? I believe I like that. We can combine freezing and fire. I have 266 dust and I don't think that that is enough for what I want. So we'll go for another relic here. Anytime you heal, gain 30% of the health restored as dust. Okay. Once again, not the best thing in the world, but not the worst either. I have another scroll, we'll get another one. We have three out of five. It's going quite well at this moment. Icicle rain on epic scale, that's pretty good. You gain more essence, the next spirit blessing you will find have offers of increased rarity. I mean, it could be good. Let's get this epic one. Okay, another 100 dust. I believe I could buy absolutely everything from the shop. So good.
let's see what we get at the shop. So, yep, the bear and the bird, perfect. Blizzard Bomb, don't care for Snow Surge, when you slay Frost, inflicted enemies, they deal damage and inflict Frost in a small radius. Okay, this might work for clearing out the areas and I believe I'll take this one. On the fire side, your bolt is a flamethrower, that could be good just to apply enough fire, deal bonus damage at the start of combat rooms, but the effect decreases by 5 every second. And we start at 40. I will go with that, a bit of extra damage early on wouldn't hurt. And now let's see what we can do with the boss. Actually I think what I'm doing is a bit... We have it. So now we are at five essences, that's pretty good. We're getting one extra this time. And when you use your perfect launcher, a second projectile is fired at the opposite direction. That was really good. When you hit your launcher's projectile with an attack, it splits into two. I still don't know how to use this. I still don't see it. More damage on the sweet spot. You deal 20% more damage to elite enemies. An attack deals 10% more damage. You know what? We're gonna get a trick shot. And I am going to get all the other small cards here. I would really like to upgrade my attack, but let's see. So if I go to the left here, I would get some dust, I would get an upgrade, I would get the bear, then I could get the rabbit with electricity, another upgrade, so there are two upgrades on this side. And I could go to the right and get another upgrade over here, Plus some health, plus another... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go to the left. I hope that it, we can get these upgrades on on my basic attacks. It's either basic attack or the launcher, either one works for me. Now I'm getting 20% more damage to these enemies, which are considered elite. Let's see, yep. Freezing attack, freezing dash I don't care to upgrade, neither do I care for the tabula rasa. We're gonna get the bear now. Okay, so far so good. Ah. Four out of five scrolls, that is perfect. Let's get the bear. Cold presence or avalanche. When you wall splat enemies inflicted with frost, they deal damage and inflict frost on nearby enemies or yeah, we're gonna get the extra damage 
or each enemy who is frozen. And then we're gonna go with some electricity. Give me something good. Time is of the essence. Your essence multiplier increases faster and cannot draw below 1.1. Okay, gain increased movement speed 15%. That's pretty good too. Chain lining doesn't really seem that impressive. The multiplier will allow me to buy more upgrades. Let's get the extra speed here. And I'm gonna go for an extra upgrade to the gem. attack at another level, so another 10% extra damage, or Scorching Launcher get 25% extra damage. What am I using more of? I think getting the 20% extra damage for the launcher is better at this point. I am going to get another one of these spears. Yeah, that works really well, it is a lot of damage. If I'm lucky I'll get another scroll right here. From now on we'll be able to buy the upgrade which gives us more rarity on the spirits. You deal damage bonus when striking undamaged enemies, that is really good, so we'll do with that. And next, I could either go for a relic or another upgrade, but on this occasion I felt like another upgrade is better. upgrade on the tabula rasa okay so we don't have a great upgrade now it's n on none of our attacks either get one percent more damage for frosted enemies let's do another upgrade on the dash could i defeat the enemy on the hidden reef probably not i would say i don't know i'll have to test myself with that and learn how to play that portion of the game at some point, but it's not yet. Okay. 175 health, I have a lot of dust is really good here. Now let's see what we can get with the deer. Impervious Bolt. When you open a relic chest, restore some health. That could be good. Ravaging Rope. Whenever you recover health, gain bonus damage until you are hit. 
My only problem is that I rarely get help. Or if I would have the upgrade, I don't know if I have it right now, but you can have the upgrade that when you enter a new room, you get 1% healing or something like that. So this ravaging growth would apply to that, I would say. Let's get that when I open a relic chest, I can get some healing. And on this occasion, I will take the Wings of Flame just to apply some fire like that. Good. I am on full health. Let's see how we will manage to deal with this. Okay. So, the bow guy apparently can hit across the map okay like that so I'm gonna go oh okay so he follows me with his attack that is good to know as well So far I'm doing decently well. Come on. There we go. Almost dead, but I still made it through. And let's see what other upgrades we get here. So, you deal 30% more damage to elite enemies, so this is an upgrade to what we have here. Launcher deals 50% more damage when you hit your launcher's projectile. Okay, we know that. Launcher charges 50% faster, and your launcher projectile has an extra second of duration. So I can buy quick draw. I will buy this. And we still have enough points, I'll get the next level of courage. Apparently it stacks up, and that is great. And then I'll get one of these. Okay. What is the path that we want to go for? I believe that on this occasion I would like to take the relic first. I could get the upgrade, then the bear, then the relic. But trying to repla replace some of the relics that we have it would be good, I would say. Thirteen percent more damage, all damage you deal or take is thirty percent higher. We're gonna take extra damage as well, but hopefully this is going to work for us. I'll want a few more embers here. Aurora Borealis, okay, you gain more essence. Avalanche, we'll take the avalanche to do more damage when we wall splat enemies. Though these maps are a bit bigger, so it's going to be tougher to do that. Let's 
let's do one of these. Perfect. Deal 7% more damage for every 100 dust you carry. 23% more damage to bosses and 22% ball damage. I think I am going to replace this one, right? The diet blades, all damage you deal or take is 30% higher because I am going to take more damage like this and that is not great for me. Old to destroy. There we go, and like that I got another essence. I am going to go for a bit more fire here. That enemy also attacks downwards. Have to be a bit more careful. Enemies inflicted with, inflicted with 5 stacks of burn will combust, dealing area damage. That's good. Gain more dust. Your bolt is a flamethrower. Yeah, no, we're gonna get combustion here. Giving us a chance for enemies to explode. Sounds pretty good to me. Okay, more electricity. Chain lightning with 45 damage, that's pretty good. When you hit, when you are hit, advance all cooldowns, okay? Time is of the essence. Cooldown advancement, I guess I'll take chain lightning. I'm not sure exactly how often I'll be using it, but we'll try it. Well, that's a lot of damage like that. What do I do now? I don't remember. Did I have five scrolls? Yeah, I did. I took another one. It's okay. Let's see, what do we get here? Spread fire. When you slay burned enemies, they pass their burn stacks to nearby enemies. That is great. Enemy are inflicted with stacks of burn for five seconds. When they spawn into the room. Mm, only two. Oh, only two stacks. You know what? Let's do that one. Nice. Yeah, I have to be careful with this one because they're also ranged attackers. Upgrade the chain lightning, upgrade the freezing dash, or upgrade the cold presence. <sighs> I guess I'll upgrade the chain lightning. There doesn't seem to be anything there that would be of more value. I guess we'll take another one of these. Smelting strength. While enemies are inflicted with some status effect, they also receive more damage. 10% per status effect. That's another 20% damage if I freeze and burn them. Red fire, flare up. Okay, we'll do that. Over here. 
Tides of Conflict, you deal more damage in a room based on the amount of enemy waves spawned. Jaws, you deal more damage when hitting the enemies direct from below. That's your down and up attack, deal more damage. I guess that, that is the one that I might be using a bit more. Okay, not a whole lot of health. But let's try this out. At a distance or what do I do here? I mean it almost feels like that should be the case here, right? Seems like his attacks Not sure I'm going to be able to defeat him on this occasion, but we'll try it. Come on. Ah. Brat, another one of these tries. I was so close. I just... I shouldn't have heard it. But I did. It seems interesting. I... I think I'm going to try another run here with the bow and try to sit from a distance. It almost still... Fighting with this boss almost seems counterproductive... Not counterproductive, what is the right word for it? <laughs> it almost seems unnatural that you are able to sit at a distance and shoot at him with a bow and you don't take damage. It almost feels weird. So I'm gonna try it tomorrow. We're gonna do, not tomorrow, but on the next try. I think it's going to be in two days. I'm not sure. Anyway, so we're gonna try it next time and see if we shoot from a distance, what's going to happen. Will we be able to make it or what? So, yep, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, do consider leaving a like as it does help me, helps the channel grow. If you have any other suggestions for games like this, leave them down in the comments below. And until next time, I wish you all to have a wonderful day.